In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove the video card from your Eclipse computer. The first thing we want to do is lay down something to put our computer on top of. This way we can slide the computer around and it won't scratch or mar the finish on the paint. So let's take our Eclipse system and we will lay it down so the motherboard I.O. ports are on the bottom. This will give us access to remove the, top, the uh, side panel and get to all of our components. So the Phillips head screwdriver, first thing we'll want to do is remove the screws. Right. Just two screws holding the panel on. So we'll want to slide this back. It'll pop off. It takes a little bit of force, but nothing too bad. And we want to gently lift this up because this fan is actually connected to a cable, which can be kind of short sometimes. So just lift it up a little bit, feel around, and just pull them apart. It's a very simple two-pin connector, very easy to, to uh, unplug. So we'll set the panel aside. So the next thing we want to do is we want to remove this tray that holds the video card into the system. So to get started with, we actually want to remove our SATA connections for our optical drive and for our SSD. So we'll go ahead and unplug these, our power and data, and then we'll unplug the single connected, our connection for the optical drive. And once this is unplugged, I just sort of slide it out here. There's a little bit of a hole. So we can free this, get this out of the way, and get everything ready for this to come out a little bit later. So now that we have our optical drive and our SSD unplugged, the next thing we need to do is remove all the screws that hold this GPU retention system onto the case. There are six of them in total, two here, two here, and two along the back. The two along the back are slightly smaller and different from the other screws, so just make sure you make note of those when you're taking the screws off and setting them aside. Let's go ahead and get these removed. And sometimes with these screws, once they get unscrewed, they don't quite want to come out of the plastic. So you have to kind of get a fingernail or something under them to kind of hold them up and pull them out while you're unscrewing. Okay, <laughs> so that is the easy part done. Um, now we really get into the nuts and bolts of removing this particular uh, retention piece. So the next thing we're going to need is any sort of a flat object. Uh, chopsticks work really well. I've taken a pair of kids' scissors and I've wrapped them with uh, painter's tape just to make sure that should anything slip or anything poke something that it's not intended to, uh, we don't have a conductive surface. So but pretty much anything thin will do. We want to take these and use them to push this PCIe retention clip in toward the riser card. So if you see here, I'll push on it. You saw that it pushed in. That's going to unclip the other edge and allow the video card to come up. Now before we pull up on the video card, we do want to make sure that this is pushed down fully and unclipped. Because if we pull up on this and this is still connected, we could possibly do some damage to the slot. You'd have to pull really, really hard to be honest. But still, it's always nice to double check and just make sure that this is pushed down. As long as this is pushed in firmly like you see here, you're not going to have any problem when you lift up on here and pull this out. Then right here with my hand, I'll reach along this lip on the back edge. And I can pull up. And this requires a little bit of force. So, I mean, don't worry too much about it. There we go. And that does pop out. And now this component is free. And now we can spend the rest of our time working this around to get this to come out. So in this particular case, I have a higher height than normal video card. Some of you may or may not have these. When I did this video, I really wanted to make sure that we dealt with kind of the most difficult video card we could, or one of the more difficult video cards, uh, to make sure we kind of covered all the different ways to remove this. So now that this is free, it's just kind of sitting in the system. There's nothing actually holding it onto the computer. So there's kind of a little bit of an art to getting this out. If we notice back here, this backplate and this CPU or this GPU riser card here can actually fit 
between the metal in the back of the chassis. There's a little bit of room, just enough for them to kind of fit. So we line those two things up so this is kind of clear in there. Then the back side of the video card has just enough room to clear and pop out along this edge here. So once that's clear, it does come out. We can access the uh, PCIe power cables on the top, unplug that. And now we have our graphics card unit. So the hard part's over. That was definitely the hard part for getting this out. So now I'm gonna move this off to the side and I'll show you how to get your video card out of this bracket. Okay, so now there are only a few things holding the card onto this whole assembly. The first being this little <coughs> bracket here. So we'll want to unscrew this. Just make sure it's nice and loose, gives us some more room to work with. Then on the back, there is a screw. They can unscrew. This whole bracket can come off. That just stabilizes the video card and protects it, mainly during transport or shipping, but it's a nice little thing to have. So now, we just have two screws on the back of the video card. We'll want to remove these. Now, if you're all at home, you can lay this flat. I'm just keeping it upright so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so those are the last screws we need. So if I take this and flip this around, you can see it's just the PCI Express slot here. So we just pull up gently. The video card comes out. Don't worry if it takes this little riser card with it. That's not a problem. We can just pop that out and we can put that back in. So let's set the video card down. Let's take this little extender, pop it back in place. So now our video card is free and we're, are, we are ready to set this aside and either clean it or swap it or upgrade it with another video card. Okay, now that we've either cleaned, swapped, replaced, or upgraded our video card, whatever the case is, we're ready to put it back into the system. So we wanna start with grabbing the card, grabbing this GPU caddy here. We'll slide this in, much in a similar way that we took it out. Get everything lined up, push those two together. Sometimes you have to rock it and push one edge down, then the other edge, but it will eventually go in there. So now that that is in, we want to screw the card in on the top. So we'll grab our screws, line everything up, put our first screw in. And the first screw I usually don't tighten all the way, I tighten it almost all the way, so there's still a little bit of play. So now I can press the video card and kind of hold it in place, make sure it's nice and level. Put in the second screw and make sure it contacts this back plate here that holds the card in. Now with everything in place, we can start tightening this down and putting it into its final position. sure this is down nice and tight to hold our card securely. There we go, those are nice and tight. <clears throat> so now that we have those two screws in, we want to go ahead and reattach our little card bracket here. So we have all these little holes along the back side here, and there's pegs on the back side of this little bracket. So we put this in, and when we're lining this up, we want to make sure we don't block the uh, PCI Express power, the, uh, power port here. So it doesn't have to be exactly anywhere specific, as long as it is in one of these areas where it doesn't overlap anything critical. And there's our screw. <laughs> so we've lined this up. And you'll see the right place to put this in, because there's different holes here, so depending on what size your video card in is, this is going to go in different spots. 
So in our case, we have it about in the middle spot. It gives it a nice contact with the video card here. So now I'm going to lay this down real quick, still holding it with my hand, drop the screw in, because right between those two pegs there is a screw hole. So we'll drop that in. I am right-handed. Let me swap this around. That was a little difficult. <laughs> you want to squeeze the two together. Sometimes the threading on this little part here is not... It doesn't thread very well. So you have to push this pretty close to this piece and kind of push the two together and then they will bite and they will grab a hold of each other. Okay, so with that on there, our next piece is this little bracket here that squeezes the video card and keeps it from wiggling side to side. So there's a hole, and then we have our screw in this little slot. We line this up. Grab our screwdriver and push them together, not too hard, just gently enough so it makes contact. And let's screw this down. Make sure that is nice and tight. And now our video card is very secure. If we move this around, if we uh, go to LAN parties or travel with the computer, it's going to keep the card nice and safe. All right. So this piece, let us set aside and let's grab the computer itself. Put my phone here. Grab the computer over. All right. So now it is time to put this back into the system. So the first thing we want to do, and I made this mistake the first time I was doing this, I did not connect the power cable. And you will hate life if you do not connect this, get this back in here, and then realize you have to take it all apart again to get, the, get to this. So let's go ahead and plug this in first, get that out of the way. Next thing we want to do is we want to make sure there's all of our cables are on this side of the system out of the way. We don't want things kind of getting under here and getting stuck where we have to pull the card back out later on. So the first thing we want to do, let's go ahead and lay our PCI Express power cable in here so it fits in nicely. Then we will tuck the optical drive underneath this front edge. These don't necessarily have to stay on top. Sometimes I've been able to get it with it on top, with it below. This isn't too much of a concern. The main thing we want to focus on now is making sure there are no cables between the PCI Express riser card and the motherboard. So nothing gets pinched, and nothing gets pinched along points like this. Like here is this piece of metal, and I've got this little black wire. So we just want to move it out of the way, make sure it is clear of where we are mounting this video card. So now the process for putting it back in is kind of similar to how we took it out. So between the riser card and this back metal plate here, you'll see the chassis fits in between these. So we want to line these up. That should give us just enough room to push this forward. And if you look on the side here, the video card is just barely able to clear this bracket, but there is enough room for it to fit. So, so we get that. Once that clears our bracket, let's see, and what I found sometimes is if I need to move this up, I can hook my finger under where the optical drive is. There's a little bit of a ledge here that helps me kind of move it around and get some sort of control over uh, the direction of where everything is going. Let's see, so that is feeling pretty good. So as we line things up before we start pushing things down, it's just kind of moving it around millimeter by millimeter, getting it in place. Let's see, usually for this final little bit, I have to line up the this riser card and kind of gently push it with my hands in so it fits into the PCI Express slot on the motherboard. So that is lined up. We don't have any cables pinching under here. These are lined up and this looks like it's nice, nice and lined up. So now we can just start pressing on this and pushing it into our chassis. So push on the back, push on the riser card. If you heard that click, that was that little clip on the PCI Express slot sliding into place. So when you hear that, you know that this is going to be making good con contact with the motherboard. So from here, this is pretty much in. That was the hard part. So now it's just a matter of reconnecting everything. So the first thing I want to do is take this cable for the optical drive. There's the little channel under here that we're going to snake it through. See, so you just kind of 
put your finger in this little area here and guide it up because sometimes it'll try to go underneath this bracket and that's that can be frustrating. Let's see, so we have the small port on this side. Get my cable in. There we go. Okay, that is connected and taken care of. Now we will do our solid state drive. That is connected. So now the only thing we really need to do is to secure this in with the six screws that we used, uh, what we took out when we removed this. So here's the thinner screws, and those are the only two that are different, and they go on the back. So we'll go ahead and put those in here. Okay, that one is secure. In. Straighten this. There we go. That works better. Now, on these, let's see, make sure they are lined up. There we go. We'll line up our first one here. Throw the screw in, and that will hold nicely. Alright, so that is back in. There are only two things we need to do now. One is grab the panel and connect the fan, the door fan. So our little header here, we just want to make sure that is free before we do this. During moving this all around, this little cable may be buried somewhere, so just you know, grab it, make sure it's free. We'll put the panel here. And it's not too bad if you can get eye level with it and just kind of look inside the chassis. You can grab the pin and the connector. Let's see, and it takes a few seconds just to line it up. There we go. So that is connected. So now we lay our panel on flat here. Give it a nice push. Make sure that that connects. You'll, it'll kind of resist and it'll go click and it'll pop into place. You'll see when it's in fully, there's no gapping here. This is nice and smooth. So now we are down to our two last screws. There we are, everything is back together. We've changed, swapped, upgraded, or repaired our GPU. And we can take the system, stand it up, and we are done.